All right, you guys. Hey, and welcome back. So, the Riker's been throwing all kinds of codes ever since I changed the radiator, ever since the battery's been dead. Uh, seems like I left the speakers on. And here we are about two, two and a half weeks later trying to get the bike to start. I do not have a battery tender. And I've had the battery for going on three years, right at three years. And so I'm reading a lot that the battery could be the culprit. I'm not really sure, but let me show y'all what I got going on. Hold on one second. So to be honest with you, I really ain't know what I got going on. I can do my little thing, this come on, check key, the P. I can't, can't do none of this, can't do none of that. Shit flashing. I don't know. Just, it's crazy right now. So I'm here and I'm thinking it's the battery, but I ain't really sure. So let's go and take out this old battery and let's fuck around and get a new one. So I really ain't got a clue on how to change this thing. I'm just gonna pull off the strap and pull off the positive and negative and see what happens there. So let's, I got my finger up under here. Basically, I'm gonna try to stretch that. There it goes. And just pull that strap off, nothing to it there. All right, so I got my handy dandy tool here and uh, just gonna unplug the terminals here. And I'm doing all this stuff one-handed, you guys, so, you know. Uh, look like it might be coming loose. What, what are the chances of it being that simple? What are the chances? This may be the simplest install yet, but we don't know. Go ahead. Boom. Try not to lose your uh, screws. Uh-oh. Boom. And uh, let's see. All right, so just that simple. It comes on out. And there we have it. So it's actually a pretty heavy ass battery. So let's run on to the store and let's get us a new one. All right, you guys. So we are back from the store and this is the battery that I decided to pick up. This was recommended to me. Make sure you get this AGM and make sure it's the ETX 14L, Duralast Gold. So I've heard good things about this one. It's been recommended to me. So this is the one that I purchased for about $134 after tax and after your core. Uh, that is about the price and I got it from an AutoZone. So let's go ahead, let's get it installed. All right, you guys, so battery is back in, very simple install. Here is the moment of truth. Will I actually get a start this time? Or is there a deeper problem? So I'm not sure, but that is how you change a battery. Um, but let's see if it actually starts. So as you see, we did get a start. So I was getting all these crazy codes. I was hella nervous, did not know what's going on. And real quick before the lights go off, in a previous video, one of my lights, this one right here, the right light, it was this blue, very dull blue light, while the left side was nice and bright. So I thought it was gonna be time to change the light bulbs, but it turns out that they weren't getting enough power to actually supply the bulb. So one of them was going dim while the other one was still lit up. So that was a sign right there that my battery was failing and I didn't even know it. So brand new battery, cranked right up. I had no problems. I'm happy that that was, whew, we got, we got a fix. So I'm really happy about that. And uh, yeah, so you guys definitely stay tuned. More to come if you guys have any questions. Um, please comment below. I'll leave this product description in the comment section below or in the description below for you guys to check it out. But uh, yeah, guys, that was a quality fix. And uh, thank you all for watching. This is JD on three. And if you don't know, now you know. Let's go.